Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video. In this learning video we are going to take examples and we'll do some brain exercise and uh, we'll try to apply which will try to see which method can be applied to get the solution of this Lagrange's equation. Okay, so without much ado, let us start with the solution. The given equation is, the given equation is, what is it? This, x z del z by del x minus p, y z del z by del y is q is equal to y square minus x square. Okay, so this is of the form pp plus qq is equal to r. So what is p here? Here p is equal to xz. What is q? yz with negative sign. And what is r? y square minus x square. Right? So this is pqr, write down its auxiliary equation. Its auxiliary equation is its auxiliary equation is dx by p dy by q dz by r okay now we have a problem this and we have to find the solution of the given problem and to get the solution of the given problem we need to solve this now think over it and try to apply the can we apply method 1? Ask yourself, can you apply method 1? Yes, we can apply method 1. Why? Because if I take first two uh, ratios, then z get cancelled. And variables are separable and just integrate to get. So yes, this problem can be solved with the help of method 1. So let's see that. Consider, consider dx upon xz is equal to dy upon minus yz dx dy okay so the z get cancelled and uh, z get cancelled then what we need to do is okay so i remain with uh, dx by x minus come here it will be plus dy by y is equal to zero so on integrating we get on integrating we get what we get on integrating dx upon x dx upon x so integration is log x integration is log y is equal to log a now log a plus log b is log of a by b x by y is equal to log a now log get cancelled with this oh sorry log a plus log b is log of a into b sorry so removing log by taking exponentiation will be getting this this is my first integral curve okay now can i make use of this x y to get the next integral curve so i cannot take this but i can take this so if i take this x is equal to y by a by y so yes that is uh, okay but uh, i think uh, uh, we should go for the method of multipliers right so we'll go for the methods of a multiplier and let us take the multipliers like x y z so choosing x y z as multipliers as multipliers then if I am taking xyz as multipliers so what it should be then each fraction of this equation 1 each fraction of equation 1 is equal to what is it x dx plus y dy plus z dz so what about this upon this is x square z minus y square z plus y square z minus x square z so this get cancelled so denominator 0 implies numerator 0 so we have 
x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to 0 integrate to get x square by 2 plus y square by 2 z square by 2 plus b by 2 okay removing 2 from both the sides to get x square plus y square plus z square is equal to b so we got the second solution okay and after getting second solution don't forget to write down what the final solution so the final solution is yes we write it as general solution the general solution is the general solution is what is it phi of a b is equal to zero that is phi of a what is a x into y and what is b x square plus y square plus z square is equal to z simple so this is the required solution okay now uh, let us take some more examples on this so let me see the problem sheet okay okay now let us take some other examples Now I have want you to solve the problems. Example. Solve. Solve what? Y square P minus XY Q is equal to X into Z minus 2Y. X into Z minus 2Y. Now, I am just explaining this. You can, you have to write this systematically in your when you are solving this in your copies. Like so, the given equation is this. This is of the form P P plus Q Q is equal to R. Okay. So what is this auxiliary equation? D X by Y square minus sorry D Y by minus X Y and D Z by X into Z minus two Y. Okay. Now we have this. So if you have this, can you which method can be applied? Uh, I can apply method one, right? If I take first two, y will get one y will get cancelled, and we have x and y variable separable, and try to get the first integral solution or first integral curve. So it is like uh, consider this two, then one y get cancelled. So this y get cancelled with this. So we have x dx is e sorry x dx is equal to minus y dy. Giving minus sign to this, then take it to the left. So it becomes like this. On integrating, you'll be getting x square by two plus y square by two is equal to say a by two. So my first curve is x square plus y square is equal to a okay now uh, can i make use of x square plus y square equal to a to get the another yes you can make it but it may be uh, uh, difficult the problem becomes very difficult okay and uh, it takes uh, lots of time to get the solution so what i am going to do is i am going to take another uh, okay i am going to take another uh, ratios. If I take this two, then x will get cancelled and will remain with dy, dz and y and z. Okay, so I can take now dy upon minus xy, dz upon x into z minus 2y. So x get cancelled with this. So we remain with uh, cross multiply. Take cross multiply of this. So this is z dy minus 2y dy is equal to it's minus okay is equal to minus y dz that is one can write now take it to the left so this is z dy plus y dz right minus 2y dy equal to 0 now variables are get separable 
Now, why I have made uh, a bracket over here is first function derivative of second, second function derivative of first. So, this is product rule. Okay. So, you have to think like that sometimes also. Derivative of yz or z into y minus 2y dy equal to 0. Integrate it to get the solution. So, what is the integration of this? Integration derivative cancel. So, we have zy minus 2 y square by 2, this get cancelled is equal to b, ok. So, we have zy, zy minus y square is equal to b. So, that is my, that is my second solution. Then you have to write the given general solution is this. First one is x square plus y square. You can write a, b, b, a, all, all are ok, ok. So, x square plus plus y square and here it is zy minus y square so this is the solution okay now such problems will be there okay now let us take one more problem a simple one we'll take see uh, as far as this mathematics is concerned is like if you get the solution or if you know the solution uh, the things is very easy but when you have to try and develop some logic and do some thinking uh, do some critical thinking about which method to apply and which method to not that will really help you in solving the problems okay so thinking is very important after understanding so let me take another problem so this is uh, solve x square minus y square minus z square x square minus y square minus z square p plus 2xy q is equal to 2xz is equal to 2xz okay so this is the problem we have now like the previous problem this is of the form p p q q is equal to r okay so let us write down its auxiliary equation which is dx by p so x square minus y square minus z square then dy by q so 2xy and dz by r so that is 2xz now what you can do is so just uh, take any two ratios can you can you take any two ratios which can be uh, some of the terms will get cancelled and which can be easily integrated the answer is yes and which are those two dy and dz these two ratios so dy upon 2xy dz upon 2xz right so what get cancelled here 2x get cancelled and we remain with uh, dy upon y minus dz upon z is equal to 0 on integrating on integrating we get what we get dy upon y that is log y minus log z is equal to log a so you can apply log a minus log b log of a by b is equal to log a remove the log by taking exponentiation and we left with y by z is equal to a so we got the first integral curve now to get the second integral curve what we can do yes to get the second integral curve what we can do we have to apply uh, we have to apply just because of this we have to apply the uh, method of multipliers. So, choosing x, y, z as multipliers. So, choosing x, y, z as multipliers. As multipliers. And equating that uh, fraction of equation 1. Say this is to be equation 1. And equating that fraction of equation to dz. Okay. So, it is like... Uh, x dx plus y dy plus z dz upon what is it x cube minus x y 
y square minus x z square plus multiply this by y 2xy square multiply this by z 2xz square is equal to equate it with z so 2xz okay now i'm going to take from here as you can say as you can see each element contain x okay so i will be taking x here x dx plus y dy plus z dz upon x common we remain with x square minus y square minus z square plus 2y square plus 2z square is equal to dz upon 2xz so this x get cancel over here and then when you solve again so we'll be getting x dx plus y dy plus z dz upon now x square y square minus y square plus 2y square y square plus z square is equal to dz upon z now if you can see whatever is there in the numerator its derivative is present in the denominator so variables are separable now you can just apply apply the integration so on integrating this what you will be getting for integrating this will be getting log of x square plus y square plus z square is equal to or i can yes is equal to log z plus log b okay now take it to the left so it is like log of x square plus y square plus z square minus log z is equal to log b log a minus log b that is log of x square plus y square plus z square upon z is equal to log b log get cancelled by taking exponentiation so we'll get so we'll get uh, x square plus y square plus z square upon z is equal to b don't forget to write down the final solution the general solution is the general solution is phi of a b is equal to c that is what is a y by z phi of that is phi of y by z phi of y by z is equal to x square plus y square plus z square upon z is equal to zero and that's what we have in this learning video so this is the solution of the problem that we have taken and i hope uh, uh, variety of example we have uh, taken in this uh, learning video so i hope that this is making some sense so thank you for watching this learning video enjoy learning mathematics thank you